single most compelling reason to start a 100% virtual business, like virtual office, virtual employees, virtual customers, and virtual traffic. know if you caught that but this was this was not it at all what I was planning to talk about I was planning to talk about something completely different which is was a really good topic and I had it all figured out but that guy just screwed it all up because he gave me something that I really need to talk about um, you can't script this stuff so I don't know if you caught that but I this truck has a hundred and eighty four thousand miles on it. I love this truck it's it's probably the favorite my most favorite car I've ever owned um, but it's got 184,000 miles on it I mean, it burns through a quart of oil every 3,000 miles I have a little bit of time in the middle of my day I got to get this done so I come here and and I have been coming to this place for years and years and years that is gonna change because what happened is I noticed when they were, I could see, they had the hood up and I could see in the gap at the bottom of the windshield, I could see what the guy, and I thought that I saw him putting in a different weight oil than what I usually use. And uh, it took me a second and I, and I, I did see it. And, uh, and so I brought it to the guy's attention and he looks at the computer and I can see the computer screen and it has the, 10w30 that he just put in they like he, he did what the computer told him to do but that wasn't right so I hear him I hear the guy at the back who put the computer in say did you put 5w30 in the car and because that's the right number and the guy goes well that's what he was just asking me but the computer says 10w30 so that guy comes up the supervisor guy comes up he's looking at the computer He's kind of shaking his head. I can tell he's pissed that something didn't get done right. Then he goes and talks to the guys in the front. And he says, uh, they're, I can't hear what they're saying, but they're talking about like who screwed up. And uh, he says, leave it. And and the guy's asking him, well, don't we have to drain it? And he says, leave it because it's a, it's a climate thing. If he were going up north, then it will be the wrong oil, but it'll be fine down here in Florida. Okay, and that, and honestly, it, that's fine with me. I'm, I'm, I know that. I'm good with that. Uh, but here's what I'm not good with: nobody ever came and acknowledged that they put the wrong oil in my car, and nobody came and explained to me that this would be fine uh, because I put so many miles on this truck that I'm going to be back there in like six, eight weeks anyway. Um, and nobody explained to me that that would be fine for the next six to eight weeks as long as I'm not going to a cold climate. That inability to say we screwed up lost them a customer. Always, always, always admit your mistakes to your customers. Do not pass up the opportunity to build a relationship. I, trust me, I have made so many mistakes over the last you know, I would say well, I've been doing like serious work that that's like high value high dollar work for 20 plus years uh, and I have made some incredibly boneheaded mistakes I've made some incredibly innocent mistakes always admit your mistakes to your customers here's the deal when you admit your mistakes to your customer you are trusting them you're demonstrating a level of trust in them that they're going to make a decision that's in both of your best interests and if you do that you put them in a position to then trust you to reciprocate that trust and that trust is what builds a lasting relationship but if you never demonstrate trust to your customer by admitting your mistakes and kind of laying it on the line and giving them the power to say you really screwed up i'm going somewhere else 
or you screwed up, you explain why, you explain the effect, and I appreciate that, and let's, let's just keep going. If you don't give them that opportunity, then you never realize the full extent of that relationship. So admitting your mistakes is probably the fastest way to build trust with a customer. And if you lose the customer, you have to trust that they made the best decision for them and move on. Life is too short to hide your mistakes and always be looking over your shoulder to see when the other shoe is gonna drop. See you guys tomorrow. When you admit your mistakes to your customer, you're giving them a chance. Mm, let me see.